All right, welcome to another episode of the Cali Chronicles. We've got two tracks for you guys today. One really easy and one on the tough side for a number of reasons. I'm not going to talk a whole lot, so let's just jump into the easy track. This one here, uh, Hunter shot a deer. Uh, it was in a field with several other deer. He watched them run across the field together. They went over a rise in the bean field and he lost sight of them. But he felt confident. It was a lethal shot. Uh, but he didn't see where they went, and he figured they went into the wood lot on the other side of the field. He followed good blood through across most of the field, and then it started tapering off. Because he had lost a deer to coyotes in the past, he didn't want to leave this deer overnight. So he called me up to try and wrap things up and locate this deer quickly for him. Started Callie at last blood, and she must have picked up one of the other deer that ran across the field because she took a hook to the right off the blood trail and went down across the field so I restarted last blood this time she stayed on it and then hooked the left and instead of going into the woodlot she hooked the left and fall along the edge of the woodlot and then we finally picked up blood about 40 yards later I got blood right here right on the corner <laughs> so real easy track there we don't always get them that easy as you're about to see them. how you been good good well i think i'm ready to go i guess i don't know where's your arrows that you shot it with well i mean uh do you have a, a you have another one right yeah with the broadhead yeah they're in the case okay but yeah, I would say about that much hanging out of them, I suppose. Maybe about like that, I guess. Yeah, so, but it poked a hole through them. Oh, it? yeah, it was, and it was, I seen it was back, you know, probably like at that last rib or maybe, you know, it's tough, tough to say when you just catch a little bit of the angle. Where, it, where it, when it entered the deer, you think it was where? I think it was cor the lower quarter of the deer, a quarter of the way up, right okay. behind the shoulder. Okay. And I just seen a dark spot there, so that, thought that's where it was. And then it exited back. Yep. Past the last rib. Yeah. I'm so you got it at minimum one lung and liver, and then probably exited out of the. Yeah, it exited out of the guts. I yeah. guarantee that. Because yeah. there was a lot and of it's, shit. It's definitely but it dead. Was super dark blood. It's definitely dead. Yeah, it was where I shot him was kind of in on this lower area along the swamp, and he was come down the hill, shot, and he turned and he went off, and there's a little rise, and then it drops off into a little grass swamp, and then it goes back up into hardwood. Well, I got to that hill, and I was looking over the blood, and it was sprayed out pretty good, and I'm like, stood there and stood there, and I'm like, I, yeah, I, good, I do not want to go over this hill. I mean, I want to, just to yeah. look, but I'm like, I better. Even with good blood, because of, you know, he may have died not long after the shot, but yeah. but because of the angle and where it exited, you could go in there and jump him, and then next well, thing you know, you if he goes, if I jumped him out of that spot and he went to the west 100 yards, he's in a massive swamp. So I'm like, I'm not. How deep is the water? Oh, uh, there's ponds in there that are going to be deep. Like over 18 inch boots? Oh, yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Yeah. Guess which way he went. I should have brought my hip waders. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> yeah. well, I got my bow in there. and You won't be able to. Bring it with you while we're tracking because it's illegal in Wisconsin to carry a weapon while you're tracking with oh, a dog. Okay. So we began our track, but someone forgot to hit record on the camera. So I didn't record the first couple hundred yards of tracking, uh, but I eventually realized it wasn't recording and hit record. So you'll get to see the rest of the track. I want to point out a couple things first before we proceed. There are going to be different colored tracks or paths on the satellite image. The yellow one is the one we think the deer actually took by connecting the dots of evidence, blood, and whatever other sign we found to confirm that the deer went this particular direction. The other color tracks are restarts where Callie ventured off and I would stop her and bring her back. I'm only going to show a few of those. I actually restarted Callie nine or ten different times. Um, she was being very rambunctious that morning. I sh maybe I shouldn't use a word I can't say. <laughs> anyway, she was 
very hyper. She slept all night. She slept in the car on the way over there, so, so she had a lot of pent-up energy. And it was just hard to control her for whatever reason. I don't know what got into her that particular morning, but it was very difficult to get her to concentrate. But she finally started settling down later in the morning and started to, to actually track like she should. So we'll get right into the track, and I won't talk a whole lot and, and let you guys just follow along. Good girl. Good girl. Just radio me if if she misses a turn. Over. I got you. Settle down, girl. What in the world is all this mess on my head? Where are you taking me, girl? Easy. Calm down. I'm going to take Callie back to last blood. She's so pent up with energy right now. And that's the problem when I'm trying to track her early in the morning. She's so wound up that she easily, easily misses turns. I think we're headed in the general direction of where the deer went. But I'm not seeing blood. And we've been seeing pretty good blood the whole way. I'll have to restart her and see where she takes this. Maybe she, she's burning some energy off by now. All right, just stand right there for a second. Callie, Callie, calm down here. Hey, 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 let's find it. Hey, come here, find it, find it. That's where she went to the right. Callie, find it, find it. She turned and then when she went that way. Yeah, she's going the same way. Well, no, she's taking a left now. What is it, girl? It, this deer went a lot farther than I thought it would. Well, you just keep looking for blood and I'm going to let her roam out. I'm really feeling the humidity uh, pick up where the frost is thawing. Maybe that'll help her. <coughs> oh. 
Oh, I smell something rotten back here. Something stinking. Is there a pig farm or cow? Cow turkey crap farm somewhere? Yeah, you're on turkey farm country back over that direction. Thought it might have been your buck at first, but man, it stinks. Easy girl. Come in. I'm gonna drop a pin right here and come back. I haven't seen any blood. But. You gotta be kidding me. Tell me there's blood somewhere around right here. Kind of in our favor. Kind of in our face. I'm hoping it would be blowing out of there from our left. I think that deer's probably bedded up in there somewhere, dude. But gotta trust the dog. Woo! I might be in tr Woo! very trustworthy this morning because she's not acting right. bring her back around she took me all the way to that canal across that marsh and I never did see a drop of blood okay there is quite a trail that crosses there a deer cross there often so one surprise you cross I guess that's your property on the other side also Keep that in mind if we need to go back that way. Oh, so the deer did turn that way. Yeah, come on, girl. Find it. Find it. Find it, girl. Find it. Find it. Right here, girl. Where is it? Mark that. Okay. Find it. Uh, Oh, you must have pressed it when you leaned over. Did you go this way? Yeah, I walked around up Right here. 
I got a deer bed right here in the leaves, but I don't see any blood. I see some hair in it. I got another bed not far from it. I'm looking at it. Let's see if I, I see hair. I don't see blood. I got a, a third bed here and still don't see any blood. I'm assuming it's just deer bedding in here smushing down the leaves. At this point, Callie just seems to be roaming around and I'm just letting her. Oh, looky here. I got blood meal way over here in the corner. Get a fair amount. Yeah. That's what I was getting at. That deer's. And then there's some right here. It's just full of that. I know, that's just a maple. All right, go, girl. You want to tie a ribbon right there? Let's see what she takes it. No, pretty good here. Yeah. I mean, he's picked back up, definitely. Yeah. Okay, now she's she's kind of taking a different direction this time. Yeah, when we went out in the marsh just a moment ago, she kind of just was weaving around like she didn't know where to go. Where'd it go, girl? I got a wound bed right here. A wound bed right here. I'm going to let her proceed. It's, it's right on the end of this uh, bush. You'll see it. Where'd it go, girl? It's right on that point there. I stuck, I pushed my hand against it and come up bloody, pretty covered. Tell me your thoughts. Is that deer still alive or did we jump it this morning? Same spot she brought me earlier. She wants to get across there too. She's breaking ice. Come on, girl. Come on. I think I think she's on it. I'm gonna find some, try to find some blood back right here. Easy, girl. Easy. Easy. I know. I know. I know. Come on. Come on. She does not want to leave. No, no I'm, try I'm trying to hold her back. Come on. She is, uh, she is determined to go that way. If you want to come help me look for blood over here. Yeah, she's... So just, I guess, oh, no, what's that right there? 
That's, it, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, I see it now. Good, good job, girl. Come here. Yeah, well, we know the deer. I saw it glistening red in the... Man, that's... Yeah, that's good. Um, it's really wet. Well, but it, but it was some, frozen last night. Yeah, just frost melting. It's been... What time is it? You shot it at 5.15. Yeah. And it is uh, 10.40. So we've got about... 17 hour track. So after we found blood right there at that little canal, we knew the deer had crossed. Uh, Neil and I circled around on a, on a four wheeler trail and had a little cross and we could get across without getting wet. And uh, I took Callie towards the trail that came across the canal and Neil stood at the four wheeler trail looking for blood. Well, before I actually got back to the canal, Neil found blood. So we just brought Callie up there and let her begin at the new blood that we had just found. Oh yeah. Find it, girl. Oops. Let her rip. I hope we're not chasing a live deer. I don't see a well-defined trail or anything. All right, you got to tie a ribbon there. I hope she's still on the right track. So we got blood again. good point I didn't even think about that one. but she took me right by the ladder stand that's why you have all this disturbance hurt she and I came through there okay all right you're on the right track kind of trying to scan up ahead so in case this deer is still alive we don't jump it or if I do jump it I'll get eyes on it Well, we've basically done a big loop. We're coming back to the marsh. Uh, I guess this will be west of you. Okay. Come here, girl. Callie, come. Come, Callie, come. Come here, Callie. Is that wind in my face? Looks like it. It seems like she's actually. She's, 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 all right, girl, go. She's acting like she's winding something. I'm gonna let take her up here real quick. Here's a here's a wound bed right here. Here's a wound bed right here with blood in it. She threw her nose up when came in the woods right here, and like she smelled a deer. And then she took me right to that wound bed. You see the blood in it? The deer should be dead with all that. This just doesn't make sense. I, I can't. This is. I'm going to drop a pin on my. Going the wrong way, girl. I don't disagree. I, I'm just shocked that they're still alive, but I'm just wondering if a guy. You know, when you're 10 to 15 inches stuck in the somewhere, you know, I just kept re-bedding it. I mean, it's bedded, what, two or three times over there, 
two or three times here, and then a couple over here again. It's bedded six, eight times. Man. Come this way, girl. I'm gonna, over here. She she can't figure out where to go from here. I'm gonna take her away from this. And that's I think that's her problem. She's trying to figure out which direction it went. Come here, girl. What's that? I didn't I didn't hear what you said. Work it up this way. Okay. Better work this way. Deer's laying here dead. Oh, gotcha. Good. Okay. I see them like I'm not even moving from here. It's like it work. Good girl. Hey, Neil, we got your buck. <laughs> That's a pretty good buck. Woo! Is it? Yeah. I'd shoot it. Look at that. Oh boy, look at the hole. Yeah, okay, I was right where I hit him. Yeah. And you were right where it hung, hung out. How did that deer go this far? That's amazing. Yeah, that's that's the struggle. She brought us over here to all those wound beds, but then she couldn't quite figure out. I, you know what, when you were over there and I, she was headed back this way and I, and you said, let her work it out. And I'm like, well, I think she's going the wrong way. And I, I made her go that way. No. She very, yeah. very well. Where were we at? I'm trying to find that mark. Mm -hmm. It's right over there. The ribbon's right over here. The deer stand's right up there. Oh, okay. so, so we came in and... We must have bedded there first, I think, the secondary beds we found. And then no, because you were finding blood up the hill to the stand. Okay. And then... You just was stumbling all over. She there. smelled that wound bed when we walked in. She threw her head up and took me right to that wound bed. He's been dead for quite some time. Yeah. <laughs> He's dead last night. Yeah. Or early, real early, early this morning. Early this morning. Well, I was just like, he's in here dead. I know where he is, but then I'm looking around. I started using my binoculars back in there. I literally walked up to the back of the car and I looked down. I'm like, oh shit, there he is. Yeah, he, I didn't see him until I got right 40 yards from him. I was a little wore out yesterday. My uncle died yesterday, early yesterday morning. Oh, sorry to hear that. And I come out to the woods. I'm like, I just need to decompress. Yeah. I was just sitting out and thinking in the woods, because this is the woods that. She's okay chewing that, right? Yeah. Okay. My. You know, like my dad and all of his brothers grew up in hunting and stuff. And I'm just sitting there thinking about how, you know, how he probably would walk through these woods at one time deer hunting and stuff. And I was just reminiscing, kind of, and look back and I'm like, <laughs> that was a decent buck. Maybe he sent it to you. Yeah, I, I believe it. So at an incredible distance, this deer traveled. And, and we actually needed Callie on this track. Uh, Neil thought maybe this would be a good one for Callie to take and be relatively easy. Uh, I believed it at the, at, at the beginning. At the end, we were both glad to have Callie there to help us recover this deer. Now, I'm not going to show an autopsy. I didn't record an autopsy. I did record a little bit of video, but I didn't go through the whole, the whole spill of uh, explaining everything. But I did have pictures and a little bit of video of the organs that the arrow injured that included both lungs the broadhead clipped the bottom of both lungs and it also lacerated the heart and there were several other lacerations on the heart in different directions Neil assures me that he did not hit the heart with a knife when he was uh, cutting or gutting the the deer or field dressing the deer and so the only thing we can theorize is that the broadhead came back into the deer since the, the arrow wasn't completely passed through the deer and the broadhead was in there moving around and lacerating the, the organs. There was a small laceration on the liver as well. So very incredible with all these injuries that deer went that far. It's just a testament how tough these animals can be sometimes and an incredible distance this deer traveled and was unpressured. Neil only tracked about 90 yards or so and then he backed out so he didn't bump this deer at all. Hopefully we don't have any more tough tracks like that this season um, they are re very rewarding when you when we can recover the deer, but man, they are rough on this body of mine So we'll see you guys next time. I hope you're enjoying the Cali Chronicles <laughs>